Hello guys, welcome back. I thought you might like to take a quick look at the gas tank before it goes to the strippers. And so, um, different kind of strippers by the way. Uh, so this is the gas tank and I don't know if you know, but with this particular tank, it's got a skirt here. Um, I can show you that on the other side. But there it is. You can just make out there's a skirt. Um, a lot of guys, what they do when they're painting these tanks, they fill that skirt in, but actually the seam is supposed to be showing. And so I'm gonna leave it just like that. Um, so just give you a quick look around at the tank. This is what it looks like. Um, of course, it looks like it's in decent condition at the moment, but um, this is just full of filler or Bondo. Um, specifically around the skirt here and then I'm suspecting in this area as well and there should also be the holes the screw holes and threads for the tank badges the Norton tank badges well they've completely gone so uh, Dave and I are taking this tank to a strippers tomorrow and hopefully the strippers will be able to remove not only the paint but also this filler and then clean it essentially on the inside and the outside and then we'll have a tank that's ready for paint. Here's another part that we're taking to the strippers tomorrow and this is the oil tank. Um, I think I've shown you this in the past but it's supposed to have three ribs here and they are again just completely clogged up with filler. The rest of the oil tank looks like it's in really good condition and so I obviously want to re-salvage this, I want to save this. It's the original oil tank um, but I'm just really hoping that we can get all that Bondo or filler off here. And then on the other side um, it's just original and uh, it's not damaged at all that I can tell anyway. So in great condition, certainly worth uh, recovering. And then finally, um, <laughs> this is the battery box cover on the other side. Um, and I've tried and failed to remove the filler using paint stripper. Uh, you can just hear it. Uh, you can just hear how dense that is. Um, but fortunately, on the other side, we still see the ribs, the indentations of the ribs, which tells me that hopefully, if we can get rid of this filler through dipping, uh, chemical dip tomorrow, um, we will preserve these ribs on the outside as well. And then we'll be able to reuse that original cover for the battery box. start taking this brake drum apart. Even here, this little arm, that's the rear brake lever. You can see just a little few traces of the blue there. I'm just going to remove these locking tab washers. I do have my safety glasses on, by the way. I'm 
Yeah, I'll check these brake shoes at some point in the future. Well here we are again guys and I went down to pick up the metalwork yesterday and it's great, I'm really happy with it. Uh, as you can see this is the battery box cover and the ribs have returned and um, we're right down to bare metal now and I've got the gloves on just to make sure I don't get any uh, moisture or any oils on this because it will just rust pretty instantaneously. Um, there's a few bangs and knocks in this but uh, overall I'm very pleased with the fact that the ribs have come back. Um, all that bondo, all that filler has gone. So that's terrific and of course this is the original unit so I'm hoping to use that again. So that's that's the side cover for the battery box and then here is the oil tank and again really pleased to see these ribs come back all that filler has gone and um, completely um, melted off or burnt off uh, this I don't think he put this one in the oven I'm not sure uh, certainly not the side cover uh, this one may have gone in the oven and then it's been dipped obviously in a very powerful um, caustic solution to get rid of all that paint and filler off the front of here um, it's in great condition it looks like there's a crease there or possibly a break. I'm not I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's been welded. Uh, you can see it's been brazed or welded at some point. So uh, hopefully I can still use that. And then underneath looks terrific. Um, not seeing any major signs uh, uh, that should give me any cause for concern. And then uh, so that's that. Very pleased with that. And then last but not least, the gas tank. Yeah, isn't this great? So right back to bare metal. As you can see, the skirt has reappeared. Uh, there's a few little problems that we can deal with, but um, as you can see, the screwed uh, th holes, the threaded holes here and here, um, and a hole here for the tank badges, the emblems that go on as well. This one doesn't have a thread and I'm, I, don't, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I suspect there's a nut that goes on the other side of that, um, but I'm not sure. I'll figure that out. But definitely screwed uh, threaded holes here and here. And then this skirt, this vanity skirt, uh, I've got a bit of a dent here that will need to be filled up. And um, if you hadn't seen it already, We've got a fairly sizable dent here as well in the top of the gas tank, so I'm not sure what made that dent there. I uh, don't really want to think about it, but um, yeah, that's, that's some work that needs to be done. But overall, the gas tank is in really good straight condition. Um, there's another dent here as well that I've just noticed. This is the first time I'm looking at it actually and so the skirt on this side is much better, much better. And then as I turn it over there's the underside uh, which looks really good, really clean and um, yeah just the great making, the great sort of uh, canvas for um, filler and paintwork as well and then I'll try and show you what it looks like on the inside if you can see that I'll do a close-up shot but uh, of course with this tank getting dipped it's just great on the inside as well so that's it um, I am planning on taking more parts down to the stripper uh, now that I know what this result looks like it's it's fabulous and so I'm probably gonna box up a bunch of other parts that really could do with stripping. I'll take them all down and um, I've had a word with Greg at the strippers. Uh, he's very kindly offered to let me film uh, some of the process as well and I'll, I'll share a bit more about his company but uh, it's fabulous. I mean it's amazing to, to find a place like that on our doorstep here especially in Portland Oregon um, that will do this kind of great work and so yeah uh, until the next time guys I will speak to you later. All right, see ya.